hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial is going to be on this victorian corset with zipper which i later turned into a dress if you'd love to know how i went about making of this you have to stick with me to the end of this tutorial to know exactly how to do that subscribe button if you haven't turn on your post notification and share this to family and friends who you think would need this now with that being said let's get right into this tutorial in the previous tutorial we went about the drafting of this victorian corset just like you can see here and we've already gone ahead to cut it out on our fabric our lining and we've ironed out the interfacing on this if you haven't seen that tutorial i'll be putting the link in my description box so you can easily click on it just to see the first part of this tutorial in the previous tutorial we stopped at the cutting of this which you can see here and this tutorial what we'll be doing is just to sew this together to stitch this down together i'll be starting with the front part of the victorian corset set and i'm going to be removing my center front one and the lining and i'll be bringing in the main fabric on center front two i'll also be removing the pattern paper and the lining and i'm going to bring in the main fabric and place it this way this was exactly how we drafted out the pattern for those that have seen the first tutorial so i'm going to just place them by the side of the center front and the next thing i'll be doing is to place it right sides facing each other to the center front after placing it this way i'm just going to pin it down all the way to the top just like i'm doing here and while cutting out our fabric we added 0.75 inch and this is because we want to use this stitching allowance to create boning channels so i'll be stitching this down using 0.75 inch okay i'll also be placing this side of the center front two right sides facing the center front one and i'm just going to pin it down exactly the way i did this other one i'll be stitching it down using 0.75 inch stitching allowance make sure that the same thing you are doing to the main fabric is what you are doing to your lining after stitching this down together this is what i have you can see this slanted design i have there this is what we did while drafting the pattern turning this to the back you can see that i've already given this a really good press make sure that the same thing you are doing to your main fabric is what you are doing to your lining now i'm going to bring in my side front and i'll be placing them by both sides of my center just like you see me doing here make sure you are arrange them properly just like i just did here and what i'll be doing is to place my side front right sides to the center just like this and i'm going to be pinning this down from the down part all the way to the top when you get to this cup side make sure that you arrange it properly just like you see me doing take your time to do this because it is really important that you arrange it just like i'm doing here after doing this we'll be stitching this down using 0.75 inch stitching allowance i'm just going to do the same thing to this other side i'll open this up and i'm going to place the side side front of the other side right sides to the center and i'm going to pin this down from the down part all the way to the top also taking notes of my cup i'm going to arrange it properly just the way you're seeing me do here and i'm going to stitch this down using 0.75 inch stitching allowance and i'll be doing the same thing for my lining after stitching it down this is what i have i know the cup doesn't look so beautiful right now but it's going to come out really nice this is because of the kind of fabric we are using also make sure to give this a really good press just like you see i've done here i'll be bringing in the linings for you to see exactly how the main fabric should look like this is how it looks and as you can see this under bust is snatched this is exactly what you want to achieve this is what is going to help to give you that perfect fitting and see that i've given this a good press always make sure to give your fabric a good press after every stitch this is going to help to give you a clean finish now we are going to keep the front part aside and we are going to assemble the back part of our corset for the back piece we'll be doing exactly the same thing we did for the front piece i'm going to be bringing in, in my center back make sure you take note where your zipper allowance is facing on your main fabric and also on the lining as you can see here they look exactly alike and you don't want to make the mistake of keeping it the wrong way if it means marking it then do that just so you don't mix this up now i'm going to be bringing in my side back one and i'm going to place it on both sides and i'll be placing it right sides facing each other just like you see me doing here and i'm going to pin that down all the way from the bottom part to the top just like i'm doing make sure you take your time while doing this i'm going to do this also 
sew on the other side of the back i'm going to stitch this down using 0.75 inch just like we did for the front bringing in the side back too i'm just going to place that on also the sides just like i'm doing here and i'm going to place it right sides on what i already have here and i'll be pinning this down from the bottom part to the up part and i'll be doing that for both sides and then i'm going to stitch this down using 0.75 inch stitching allowance also make sure you do the same thing that you are doing on your milk fabric on your lining after stitching down the back piece this is what i have i've gone ahead to give this a really good press and also i did the same thing for my lining as you can see here the next thing we'll be doing now is to join this together with the front piece now i'm going to just keep the back piece aside i'm bringing in the front piece i'm just going to place it on my table and then i'll bring in the back piece and i'll place it right side to the front piece just like you see me doing here now all we're doing is to stitch this down using our chin allowance i'm just going to pin this down from the bottom part to the part and then i'm going to stitch this down using 1.5 inch stitching allowance remember that this is the stitching allowance i use on my pattern paper so make sure you use the stitching allowance that you used for yours after pinning it down i'm going to do the same thing to the other side place it right sides to the front and i'm going to pin this down from the bottom to the top after pinning this down i'm just going to go to my machine and stitch this down using 1.5 inch stitching allowance remember we are doing the same thing to the lining just like we are doing to the fabric after stitching it down this is what i have here i'm just going to turn this over to the front side and i'm going to fold it in like this now what i'll be doing is to trim down this upper part of my corset i'll just open it up like this and i'll just be trimming it down to my satisfaction just like you see me doing here so i'm just going to trim down the both sides just like this done with that the next thing i'll be doing now is to create boning channels i'm just going to turn this over to the wrong side remember that we stitched this down using 0.5 inch stitching allowance so we have enough space to create channels for our boning what i'll be doing here is to stitch down on all sides of the lines you are seeing here using 0.5 inch stitching allowance or you can use an allowance that is enough to contain the boning you have with you so what i'll just be doing now is to go to my machine and to create boning channels on all these lines i have here I'm done creating the boning channels on each of those lines and you can see what I have here and how beautiful it looks. While creating your boning channels, try and make sure that you create neat lines so that your work comes out with a very clean finish. After creating the channels, before inserting our bones, what you are going to do is to insert the cup into this area here created for the cup to sit. So I'm just going to show you how to do that very easily first of all make sure that the cup is your size or one inch bigger okay now what you'll be doing is to place your cup on the under bust just like you see me doing here make sure that your cup the down part of your cup is touching the under bust part okay that way when you are done sewing it the cup is not up and then it's not covering your bust well so after placing it there you're going to pin this down just like i'm doing here the next we pinning down is this center part make sure that this part is touching the center and you're going to pin it down there i'm also going to be pinning it down at the side all right after doing that you're going to do the same thing you bring in the other cup and you place it at the under bus and you pin it down there pin it down at also the side and the center just like i'm doing here now you are also going to make sure that your cup is not touching the upper part of your corset what i mean is that make sure that you have 0.5 to 0.75 inch stitching allowance at this upper part if not after stitching it down it's going to be looking funny and bulgy at this upper area i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain here this is pretty easy now after pinning your cup down just the way i explained what you'll be doing is to use your needle and thread to tack this how you'll be tacking this is to tack this to the allowances making sure that this doesn't show at the front so i'm going to be tacking this at the areas where i pin down that has allowance after stitching it down you can see how i did mine here try and do yours to look this way this way it doesn't show in front and it still sits how it's meant to sit so i'm just going to turn this to the front for you guys to see exactly what i'm talking about and how it looks as you can see here the copy is sitting perfectly on this bust area and none of the tags that we did at the back is showing here this is exactly what you want to achieve now the next thing we'll be doing is to be joining this with the lining before we insert the bone in to attach this to the lining make sure you notch the midpoint of the both of them just like i've done here and i'm going to place them both together just like this and i'm going to pin this down i'll also be pinning it down all the way around every other part at this top
and then i'll go to my machine and stitch this down using 0.5 inch stitching allowance after stitching it down this is what i have i'm just going to open that up this is what the inside looks like now you'll be stitching what you have here towards your lining so you bend it towards the lining you go to your machine and stitch this down this is going to help it to stay in place that way when you put on your corset the lining isn't coming out or folding up in front okay now i'm just going to go ahead and do that and after doing that this is how beautiful it's looking as you can see here the lining is not showing in front and it won't show in front now let's insert the boning to insert the boning i'm just going to use my scissor to trim off this upper part if you have maybe a lighter to burn off this upper part to make it smoother you can use a lighter for me i'll be using a scissors so i'm just going to trim off this part and then i'll be inserting it into my channel inserting it into the channel until it gets to the top when you get to the top before you cut out the boning you need to ensure that the boning is half inch shorter inside this channel so what i'm going to do now when i get to the top here i'm just going to draw out this boning a bit just draw it out a bit and i'm going to cut it out now when i cut it out i'm going to push the remaining of what i have back to the top of this corset and as you can see here the boning is about 0.75 inch shorter than the actual channel this is what you want to achieve because when you are stitching this down you don't need any of the boning to be obstructing your stitch now i'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the channels i'm done inserting all the bonings and you can see what i have here now if you are using the type of boning i used and it's curvy it has a curve just like mine is make sure that the curve is facing the way mine is facing like this it is going to give you a better fitting than if it's facing the other way now i'm just going to turn this over to the back right side facing each other just like this and the next thing i'm going to be doing is to stitch all the other sides down together i'm just going to notch the midpoint of both the lining and the fabric and i'm going to be pinning down this side of my corset i'll pin it down from the top to the bottom and i'll be stitching this down using 0.5 inch stitching allowance i'll also be pinning this other side to stitch it down using 0.5 inch stitching allowance now for this damp part before i stitch it down i'm going to be opening it up just like this now this part i'm opening up is to enable me to turn this over to the right side when i'm done stitching down every other part So just open that up up to this point now i'll be stitching this down using 0.5 inch channel allowance and when i'm done i'm going to turn this over to the right side give it a good press and i'll be inserting my zipper initially i wanted to make this into a top but i later changed my mind and made it into a dress i couldn't film it the dress process because i was running out of time and i still ended up not using this for my birthday shoot but if you know how to connect a blouse to a skirt normally you should use that method to just connect them together now we have come to the end of this tutorial i'm really glad you stick with me to the end and i hope this tutorial was really really helpful to you do not forget to like to comment if you have any questions to share this to family and friends who you think would need this and also do not forget to hit on that post notification to get notified whenever i post a new tutorial i'll see you guys in my next one